as the first woman scanned the other from top to bottom, as you do, <laughs> she noticed she was wearing a white dress. Probably a pretty odd choice of outfit for a nighttime stroll, but as she continued her gaze down, she realized something even more strange. The woman had no legs. I was just picturing no feet. I don't know why. <laughs> no legs. No legs at all. Oh. She was well. just a floating torso. Hi, Caitlin. <laughs> I was trying to do a spooky Hi. voice and it didn't come out right. That Wait. Let me try it? again. Okay. Oh, let me try it. Take two. Again. Okay. Hello. <laughs> How was that? Was that spooky? No. Oh. It was kind of cartoony. Okay, but we'll keep it anyway. All right. It was better than the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's debatable. Oh, uh, hello, Cassie. Hi, creepy people. Or cartoon people. Cartoon creepy <laughs> people, creepy papers. <laughs> this is... PNW Haunts and Homicides. Yes. Oh my God. I almost forgot why we were here. We're here. Woo. We're here. And it's almost Halloween, bitches. Woo. All right. All right. Well, in the words of the iconic Ash Nico, pumpkin spice this pussy, baby. Oh. Happy Halloween. I don't need a costume because I'm already a freak. Hello. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers! I'm wearing her, her shirt today. That's I why. see that. Yeah. Did you notice mine? Mm-hmm. Weren't you wearing that last time we reported? I might have been. <laughs> I really like Ooh, it. Called out. Yeah, I no, think I like I've only too. worn this t-shirt twice. <laughs> I really like it. I saved it for Halloween. It's a spooky oh. tarot card. Yeah. So if you're Patreon, you'll get to see her shirt later. <laughs> <laughs> well, today I'm going to do something I've never done before. In honor of this special occasion. I don't like the look on your face right now. I'm really excited and I'm going to try really hard not to get overly excited, talk really fast, high pitched, mess everything up. Okay. So I'm going to try to tone it down, even though I'm really excited on the inside. I'm like jumping up and down. Yeah, I don't appreciate your tone. <laughs> I'm going to scare <laughs> Caitlin. Cool. But no, you're going to like this too. You're going to like this surprise. So let's just say we're going on an adventure to a sister city. Oh my goodness. I did it. You did it. Are you so proud? I am. I did it just I for you. I did not see that coming at all either. I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's happening? I had a stroke of genius the other day and I, I rolled with it. So. Okay. We're going. Can you guess? Do you know all of the sister cities of Portland? <laughs> Not off the top of my head, but I know a few. Rude. Guadalajara? No. Okay. <laughs> We're going to Sapporo, Japan. <gasps> really? Yes. Ooh. How excited are you? Eek. So did you know that this is the longest sister city partnership for Portland and one of the longest running in the U.S.? I did not. Yeah, I didn't either until I read it on this website and I wrote it down and told <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> it's kind of our thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I was thinking I wanted to do some super spooky vibes for Halloween. And I was thinking about one of my favorite movies, The Ring, which is filmed right here in the PNW. Yeah, no, thank you. You don't like it? No. And here's what's wild is I've actually seen The Ring. Oh, it's one she's seen? Yeah, it gave me nightmares forever. I loved it. It also made me not want to sleep with the TV in my room, but, yeah. you know, it's fine. I lived. That's how I fall asleep at night. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You'll know why if I look real tired on the live tomorrow. Oops, core memory unlocked. Yeah. Eek. Well, did you know the original is a Japanese film called Ringu? Yes. Yes. You don't want to know where I heard that. Um, maybe. I think it was on DP. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I think they've like mentioned it I know the other they've day. talked about it, yeah. yeah. So I was just like, hmm... Things started cooking up there in, in the old 
noggin. And the old hat rack. <laughs> yes, the old hat <laughs> rack. So I went in search of a Japanese sister city, and I actually found one, which was super exciting. <laughs> On my first try, I was just like, yeah. let's try Portland. They they might have a Japanese sister city, and they totally did. Sure do. Um, and it just so happens to be haunted as fuck. Mm-hmm. Keeping with the PNW vibes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Her face is so funny. So before I scare the crap out of you, Caitlin, I wanted to touch on some quick little historical things. I just couldn't help it. We all know how that goes. Okay. (laughs) Although they do celebrate Halloween in Japan, they don't see it as kind of the thinning of the veil quite like we do, you know, where souls can cross over and all that jazz. They have another holiday for this. It's in August, actually. It's called Oban. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard of Oban. I never have. Really? You okay. know, it's a different culture and it is. I'm yeah. trying. This is where I'm learning. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I don't know very much about it, but it sounds really yeah. interesting. Well, this is a time for them to honor ancestors with altars and offerings, visiting resting places, performing traditional dances, and using lanterns to guide ancestral souls. Yeah, I think yeah. it's really sweet. It it's is super sweet. Not totally unlike kind of the um, tradition of Day of the Dead, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought it was cool. The lanterns, too, they, like, use the floating ones and release them. And Yeah, yeah it sounds really pretty. So pretty. So I just thought that was cool, and I didn't want to visit Japan on Halloween without learning a, bit, a little bit about their culture. So Yeah. And I wanted to give you a little buffer. To prepare for what's to come. Cool. (laughs) Great. All righty. I'm going to take you on a little ghost tour of Sapporo, if you will. I won't. (laughs) No, I'm taking you with me. I'm dragging you, kicking and screaming. We'll be talking about quite a few places. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Um. So this text I used is translated from Japanese. It's called Sapporo Ghost Map Guide. I'm hoping there's no misinterpretations here. I mean, I certainly didn't translate it because we'd be in big trouble. So I'm sure they're professionals, but I wanted to give the little warning (laughs) just in case I say something wrong. You're like, that's not what happens in Sapporo. Okay, Caitlin, what do you think about when you picture a spooky haunted place? Ghosts? Like, like, Ghosts? Like a haunted house with like... Spooky trees and fog and stuff like that. Sure. (laughs) I try not to picture it. I was just going to say that for you. (laughs) Well, what what about a subway maintenance garage? Yeah, that sounds like a good setting for haunty, spooky (laughs) stuff. Really, you think? Yeah. (laughs) It didn't sound super spooky to me, but I'm going to paint you a word picture. Okay, So it's dark. It's damp. Mm-hmm. That's literally Echo-y. what I thought of. I was like, it's a dark, damp place. Echoey. Oh Echoey. My God. Walking through row after row of deserted trains. Are we getting there? I mean, yeah. I'm there. <laughs> also, I don't know why I think it's damp. Does it rain a lot in Japan? Um, different parts of Japan do kind of get a lot of rain. Hmm. I okay. mean, probably not as much as like Portland or Seattle, but... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I don't know for sure if this maintenance garage is in fact damp, but that's what I'm picturing in my head. Anyway, back to the story. There's going to be a lot of Japanese names. I looked up the pronunciations, but you know how it goes. So sure do. In this particular subway garage between Jietai, Mai, and Makomanai stations. Excellent. I did pretty good. Okay. Very good. Employees report feeling uneasy in the empty trains. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I bet. (laughs) Some have even reported hearing voices. In one instance, a woman's voice was heard, but only four men were working that night and no way for anyone else to be in there with them without them knowing. No. You're like, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Get Midwestern. (laughs) Now, there had been occasions where people would sadly jump onto the tracks Mm -hmm. and die by suicide. Yeah. 
I guess the spookiness and the voices got so bad that the employees finally made a complaint to the city. And, and they actually had a Buddhist priest come in and cleanse the garage. Oh, geez. Yeah. This did help a little, but disembodied voices can still be heard from time to time. Okay. So I said cleanse here because that's kind of what I inferred from the text. If it's not something that a Buddhist priest would do, please forgive my whiteness. There is only so many rabbit holes I can go down in one day. So. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you could I'm, you could interpret it as being like a cleanse or maybe offering a blessing. Yeah, something I don't like know. that. I think those are not necessarily interchangeable, but sort of related. Okay. I just went like what what I thought about in my mind someone clearing out a space or making it yeah. more positive than it was. So yeah. something like that occurred. I think that makes <laughs> sense. Okay, good. <laughs> so next we're visiting a park that I could not find a pronunciation for. So I'm just going to try my best and we're going to see how it goes. So this is Jadensha Park. I think that okay? A, I think that's a pretty good pronunciation. Okay. Like Thank I said, you. I'm I'm certainly no expert, but I tried. Yeah. If anyone does speak Japanese and wants to tell me how to pronounce this, feel free. Yeah. I won't be offended. <laughs> yeah. That's so <laughs> tough too when you can't find a pronunciation guide. Yeah, there was like nothing on yeah. this. Yeah. You're like, I don't want to butcher <laughs> it. But you know, it's just You're doing <laughs> your best. <laughs> As she <laughs> It's such a pretty language too. So it is. Yeah. You're just stalling with all of the language talk here because you don't want to get to what's in this park. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was really curious because I was wondering if it was a park I'd like heard of. Oh. Okay. There's so many places in Japan that I want to go. Yeah. This probably isn't one of them, though. I don't think it's like a very big, <laughs> well known park. Okay. During the day, this park is bustling with all of the park type people. You know, joggers, stroller pushers, dog walkers, picnickers, frisbee throwers. You know the type. Ew, joggers. <laughs> Ew, what oh. are they doing? Well, I'm more in line with the picnickers. Yeah. Some wine and cheese. I'm just fresh off research about a jogger, so. Oh, Eek. oh, right. Yeah. Mm. There's also plenty of housing around this park, so it's not secluded by any means. That's unusual. Yeah. I mean, just for a place that's yeah. haunted. I think it's just like a neighborhood park. <laughs> okay. But at night, things shift from a lively atmosphere to a deadly one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't like it. Legend has it that one night, a woman was walking through the park at midnight. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, it's not Cinderella. This woman had both of her shoes and clearly no fairy godmother there to protect her. Okay, well, that was not at all where my head went. Okay. So she comes across another woman walking in the park. As the first woman scanned the other from top to bottom, as you do, she <laughs> noticed she was wearing a white dress. Probably a pretty odd choice of outfit for a nighttime stroll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know about that. Unless it was summer, maybe. I don't know. Well, and white yeah. for a park? I don't know. Okay. All it, right. it seems odd. But as she continued her gaze down, she realized something even more strange. The woman had no legs. I was just picturing no feet. I don't know why. <laughs> no legs. No legs at all. Oh. She was well, just a floating torso. Okay. With arms and a head in a um, white dress. That's a real choice. That's um, that's a real fashion statement. <laughs> it's <yeah>. something. <laughs> so super creepy. I don't like it. So moving along in the ghost tour. In the Higashi Ku ward of Sapporo, there is a road that is said to be a pathway between the mortal world and the spirit world. Okay. So just like tell my Uber driver, like avoid that one. Yeah, or... avoid that road. Don't go down okay. that road. Okay. So you'd probably think this is a deserted country road, secluded, yeah. isolated, also picturing damp. <laughs> <laughs> 
But no, it's right in the midst of a residential neighborhood. <laughs> oh, okay. And I definitely don't understand street names or addresses in Japan. They do give the location, but I don't know enough to relay this information to you without another crazy rabbit hole. So <laughs> if that's you, fair. Yeah. If you're curious, the link is in the paste bin in the show description. So all right. And, and I will say this, because I told you Chris has been to Japan. I don't know that he's been he I think pretty much just went to Tokyo, but he said it was a very confusing city to get around. I could see that. Yeah. And <laughs> he had a really funny story about how they lost his brother on no. the subway. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Cause those doors are not like when you get on the max here where like, oh, it feels like somebody trying to like put their hand in between the door. It doesn't have no. a sensor. Well, and it could be totally different now. It probably is for safety. But back then, because this was, I mean, <laughs> dating Chris here a little bit. <laughs> this was like 20 years ago. Oh, okay. Um, the doors are like, they just are like, we're closing. Like they they run on schedule. So the doors be closing, bitch. Get <laughs> yeah. out the way. <laughs> yes, move, bitch. Get out the way. So, yeah. The younger brother was the only one that got oh, on the subway and everybody else just watched in horror as like their dad tried to like get on it. And then as it like just rolled on by. Oh, my God. Hopefully he didn't end up end up in the maintenance garage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But Help. they had to race to another subway station and it was really confusing trying to figure out like, OK, where does that train go and all this stuff. So, I mean. Yeah. I've, oh. I've met his brother. Like he made it out, but he's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A word Man. to the wise: don't take uh, navigating through Japan lightly. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, no. Okay. One night. Can you guess what time? Midnight. It's midnight. Okay, it's I was going to say midnight. I already had my second guess prepared, <laughs> and it was three a.m. It's always midnight in Japan. Okay. A man was walking. <laughs> oh my. Uh, ah! <laughs> a man was walking no yeah a man was walking down this road like he had a thousand times before with no incident i really don't know if it was exactly a thousand times but they said he knew the road roughly. pretty well yeah roughly <laughs> give or take i took some artistic liberties here yeah <laughs> that's fair this time though he started to feel like it was hard to walk like something was holding him back no. Perhaps tugging on the back of him? No, thank you. Then from behind, he heard what sounded like a little girl Ooh! say, Will you play with me? <gasps> Hard pass. <laughs> when he turned around, he indeed saw that there was a little girl there and thought it was very strange for her to be out so late. And as he was probably about to ask where her parents were, she disappeared oh okay so then he didn't ask he didn't get a chance to ask <laughs> he was just like there's a little girl and now there's not okay poof I mean I'd prefer that she was not there and being creepy so maybe that's okay I mean I'd prefer it if she was visible because she will you play with me and then she's gone is she like playing hide and seek where did she go where did she hide is she going to pop out of the shower later? No. <laughs> no. Why? Why would she do that? Just because everything comes and sneaks up on you when you're in the shower? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. It's no. <laughs> People in their homes along this road are apparently not immune to the spirit shenanigans either. A resident's door might slowly creak open to let disembodied boots in to stomp around. Um, I'd prefer that 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 they didn't. <laughs> Why is it always just boots? You know, like we've right? heard that a couple of times. I feel boots like before or high heels. Yeah, but it's always like there's no one. You can't see anyone walking in them. You know, right? <laughs> those are your choices, though. You either wear those stilettos, or you're wearing like steel-toed boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are your options. Or even something more sinister and reminiscent of our sex demon episode. 
Okay, I'm listening. (laughs) (laughs) Residents have experienced waking up in the middle of the night, probs midnight, to the feeling of something on top of them. No. Nope, I'm out. (laughs) Bye. I'm out. Goodbye. I told you it was reminiscent of the sex demon episode. I mean, you did say that, (laughs) but... Opening their eyes to see a ragged, menacing samurai warrior. I, that shit's intense. That's very intense. And I have to say, it's very un samurai like behavior. Exactly. I think that's why it's so scary. The next one sounds like a lovely place called Falls of Peace in the 10A ward. Did I say that okay? Yeah. Okay. We just looked it up. Yeah. <laughs> It comes with a mountainous backdrop and all of the foliage a picturesque waterfall could ask for. That reminds me of like Silver Falls or yeah, something. Yeah, it, wow. me too. It sounds really, really gorgeous. Pretty. But now I'm going to bring you right back down to earth and shatter your soul with a trigger warning for suicide. I know I briefly touched on it a bit in the beginning, but we're unfortunately going to be talking about it a bit longer with this one. So. Cool. Sorry. I'm so sorry. This place sort of reminds me of Aokigahara, a.k.a. the Suicide Forest. Oh, I've yeah. watched a document. Well, actually more than one documentary about it. It was hard to watch. It's really tough. There's a yeah. really scary movie about it, too. Yeah, I haven't watched that. It's terrifying. Don't watch it. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> it's really scary, you guys. Like, <laughs> Good advice. I watched it alone, I'm pretty sure. Because wow. I'm a lunatic. Yeah, it's we're fine. just cut of very different cloth. <laughs> very. <laughs> okay. Apparently, many, many people of all kinds come here to tragically end their lives by jumping from the falls. There was also one instance where someone doused themselves with gasoline and lit themselves on fire. Oh, no. The self-emulation deaths in some Asian cultures are just really, really rough. It is. It's it's a lot. Um, That's actually what they the word they use to describe it in the article. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Because it's. I don't know. Sometimes using that like technical or like scientific jargon, like it feels a little better. You like kind of distance from like what that, like when you boil it down, what that is. I guess I kind of wanted to use it, but I was like, uh, they used it. I kind of like trying to write it my own way. So, well, yeah. And (sighs) not everybody knows what that is either. I think it's good to kind of explain it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like figured what it meant but I also had to google it just in case well it's not a commonly used word I I mean if it was that would be terrifying yeah (laughs) it's not good no one knows why people choose this place whether it's the beautiful calming environment or perhaps the land holds some residual energy from the past affecting people who are already vulnerable yeah There is a monument at the falls for enslaved Koreans who were forced to work in the mines. Oh, yeah. I mean, kind of similar to the forest where people don't really have one solid explanation, but could be anything. Could be anything. As you can imagine, there was a lot of anger and despair associated with that time. Running water, I feel like, is also a huge energy source, and it could be continuously stirring up these past memories. And on top of all of that, you have these new people leaving their own anger and despair when they pass. That's so, true. It's kind of yeah. like a cycle, I feel like. Yeah, almost like a snowball as it's yeah. like rolling downhill. Yeah. So as much as I do want to visit and see how pretty it is it's kind of it's kind of spooky yeah that's really intense yeah, it ah! is. sorry to bring everyone down on halloween this text also suggests that if you visit any of these places to sprinkle yourself with salt before going into your home i'd say probably before going into your car too or maybe just douse yourself with salt the whole time yeah just <laughs> just in case just 
Wowzers. Yeah. I think probably you just can't really overdo it. With yeah. Salt. Yeah. Sure. They're afraid something might attach to you. So no, thank you. You can also use any of the other various protective measures we've talked about, mm-hmm. like, uh, certain crystals. I can't think of the ones off the top of my head. Um, I think that like tourmaline right. would probably be a yeah. good example. Black tourmaline. Yeah, black tourmaline. Um, any of the protective things. Honestly, if you just have something that you feel like is protective, and if you're curious, you can Google it, or we do talk about a couple of them in the cleansing episode too, I think. So yeah, we do. Yeah. You can use smoke too. Yeah. It, I mean, if something you know? does follow you home, definitely refer to the cleansing episode. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so. Oh, Caitlin, I have one last special story just for you. Yay. You didn't think you'd get away without talking about dolls today, did you? What the? F- <laughs> Surprises just keep coming for Caitlin on this very special Halloween season. All right. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to be a little hoarse through the rest of this episode as I <laughs> insert my knees into my chest. Sapporo, Japan has its very own haunted doll. In 1918, a boy named Eikichi Suzuki, like the car. Yeah. So I could pronounce that one without looking it up. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We got an easy one. Yay. <laughs> Gave his little sissy, Okiku... A doll is a gift. Aww. Isn't that the cutest little name? For Adorbs. Little girl? I love it. Very sadly, though, Okiku passed away at three years old <gasps> from an illness. Oh, I know. Her family placed her favorite doll on an altar in their home. They began to notice something strange about the doll, though. Her hair was growing. No, <laughs> no. They even had the hair tested and it was human. No. Which I know is definitely a thing they used to do in doll making. But because they actually noticed that the hair was getting longer, the family believed the doll housed the soul of their precious Okiku. Today, the doll lives in a temple shrine. The monks taking care of her there confirmed the unusual hair growth. Very uncomfortable. She's so uncomfortable. (laughs) (laughs) Um, She didn't do anything mean. Her hair was just growing. Okay. She just sitting there being a doll. Okay, but I'm a living person and I can barely get my hair to grow out. So now I'm just... And that now I'm angry. Now I'm just see. This is what happens. You become sad, and angry, and confused, and uh, I don't like it. Maybe you should go talk to her and ask her her secrets. No, I. You know, (laughs) maybe I'll shoot her an email. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she takes email in the temple. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Well, on that note, that is all I have for now, for Sapporo, Japan. Portland sister city. Eee! That was so fun. I know. I, I really liked that. I love learning more about Japan. Me I too. really want to go. Yeah. Really, really, really want to go. We're going to take a pod trip to the sister <laughs> right? city. <laughs> right? Seriously, I wanted to go as an exchange student. Yeah. So, well, it's now not we can write late. it off. Yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Well, shall we do some tarot? Tarot. Let's do it. Okay. Welcome to this episode of yeah, Chauffle with Cassie and Caitlin. Welcome to this episode of Chauffle. <laughs> Chauffle. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are thinking of haunted ass Sapporo, Japan. Haunted AF. <laughs> Dolls and legless lady ghosts and I'm not <laughs> do you want to play with me no. <laughs> <laughs> okay spooky subway maintenance maintenance garages and sandwiches there was sandwiches 
Subway. Oh. <laughs> I was sorry. like, did we talk about sandwiches and I missed it? No. We are going to cut the deck. I don't know. I feel like you need to just touch it for a second. Give it your scared vibes. Touch it. Touch it. She's so scared. Oh, look. It, and it cut, you guys. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see it. It cut and this feels right. Okay. It's this one. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the fool. I went silent because I'm I'm no longer surprised when this pops out at me. It happens all the time. And yeah, so we're using my nightmare before Christmas deck. And this is the fool with Jack walking with his doggy zero. Aww. Yes. So cute. It's so cute. <laughs> I mean, do we even need to read the... <laughs> no, we do. Ooh, we it's do. in a forest. Too. Yeah. Did I say is. that? I think I already said that. I don't know. I'm going to oh, put your yeah. little spooky ghost crystal right yes, there. Yes, that's yours. I know, but I got it. And then With it me in came mind. and it definitely was like, oh, did it mean for me to gift <laughs> this to you? Because I'm in love with it. It's mine. <laughs> you just need a re daily reminder of me. I guess it was a birthday gift that I bought for myself, but you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> the fool for Saboro, Japan. All right. So our keywords are innocence, beginnings, trust, hope, opportunity. Mm. <clears throat> and also Caitlin clearing her throat. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of sounds like a sister city, though. Yeah, it right? kind of does. Yeah. Well, in innocence, I right away latch on to the little, little girl. girl. Mm -hmm. The first card in the major arcana, the fool begins your journey toward wisdom. Mm. The fool represents innocence and faith, the naive confidence of youth. Shown as a young traveler, well, I won't read the rest of the description because honestly... It's not that far off, yeah. but... But young travel, travel too, is interesting because we talked about the subway. Right. Well, and just the fact that, like, for us, we're traveling to a to sister Japan. city. To Japan, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. This is so funny. Okay, so what? this is one way that the fool is totally different for us in this context. Um, I don't know how you pronounce this name, but I'm going to take a shot. Okay. So there's a tiny mini extra excerpt and it says a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, which reminds me of the city on or the the part of the story where we talked about that road. And I said a thousand times he had been on that road. Well, and holding him back. Yeah. And, ah. So that's a quote attributed Whoa. to Lao Tzu. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, upright, when the fool appears in a reading, it usually means you're about to embark, to embark on a new way of life. You're open to new experiences and to discovering what lies around the bend. Yeah. Even if you're not sure about the path you've chosen, you have faith that everything will turn out well. You probably feel out of sync with the rest of the world, but in a good way. You hear the beat of a different drummer, and you're ready to march to it. Yep. <laughs> okay. In a reading about money, the fool urges caution. You may be too trusting, or you may be naive when it comes to handling financial matters. <laughs> yeah. This card can also represent the first stage of a business or investment. Examine details carefully. Pay attention to your intuition, not only logic. So when we're planning our Japan trip for the pod, <laughs> yeah. we just got to like be careful and plan it out, which we usually do. So yeah. I think Keep we're good to go. Keep the receipts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be smart about it. Yeah. You know? I think so. If the reading is about your work, the fool can indicate starting a new job, project, or business venture, beginning a course of study, or going on a business trip. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> it's a sign <laughs> if I've ever seen one. I, that's all I can take away from this. Caitlin, 
I can't wait to go to Japan with you. I know. <laughs> You're looking forward to this new adventure or new direction and its possibilities. Well, hello. Yay. <laughs> Embrace the opportunity with an open mind. You have a lot to learn. Yes, we do. A lot of Japanese things I want to learn. All of the things. All of them. Throw me right down that rabbit hole. (laughs) In a reading about love, this card often means beginning a romance or moving into a new stage in an existing relationship. A new relationship may feel faded as if you've met your soulmate. Enjoy this period of joy, openness, and excitement. Oh, there's another extra excerpt. I love the extras. The quest for meaning always takes us into the unknown. That's from, I think this is actually a tarot, um, like, companion book. It's called The Pilgrim's Companion. Oh, cool. I like that. Read it again. The Read quest- it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the quest for meaning always takes us into the unknown. I like it. Yeah. I think that's fitting. That's kind of interesting, too. It reminds me of the falls and the suicide forest, like the quest yeah. for meaning. Yeah. Leads oh you gosh. into the unknown. Is that what it said? Uh, yeah. The quest for meaning always takes us into the unknown. Yeah. Because we oh. don't know. We don't know what the fuck is happening. I <laughs> couldn't agree more. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I really like that. I like when my fool pops out. He I makes me smile. So, And I have one thing to say about this case and about this reading. And if you can't see it here in the video fully, I'll go ahead and just. Eek. It's a little sign that says eek. We'll probably post a photo for people who yeah. aren't on Patreon. <laughs> but did you notice it has a little spider yeah. too? It's scary. I was actually pretty surprised and proud of you <laughs> that you bought something with a spider on it. I also did. Also the, oh, what am I, I can't, oh, also the tablecloth has webs and. Yeah. And that is actually something that came in our little goodie basket from Dave and Paul. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. thank you, Dave and Paul. We love you. We loved um, all our snacks. Oh, my God. Snacks. We really did. We've got the TikTok to prove it. Also, I got us matching hers and hers little headstones. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Mine, you know, true to my nature, says keep out. Um, Mine yours... says gone at last. <laughs> Which is... Yeah. You know, probably pretty on too. Yeah. And then <laughs> we got a crystal grid there. We're just like <laughs> pointing, um, not audibly at all, but. Uh, yeah, that's not a new bed doily. That. that is a crystal grid. Yeah. Cloth? Crystal grid, grid cloth? That sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. And we're actually going to be sharing some. Well, we'll just see. I'm going to get creative. I went to a very cool crystal shop that's here kind of in the extended local area. (laughs) And I, yeah, it was a really, really cool place. Um, She has more than crystals, but that's obviously the highlight for me. So, yes. Shiny rocks. Yeah. (laughs) So quite a time. I think that's all of the things. Yeah. As usual, if you notice something about the card or description that related to something we didn't notice because our brains are just mush, you know how they are. Yeah. But let us know. Comment. DM. Maybe. Email. Maybe DM you back. (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right. Well, I'm going to suggest that we ring the bell. Where's my wait? Where ring, is my wine? ring for wait. wine? Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> oh. Because we are also going to do a second recording today, and I'm going to get my revenge on Cassie. So, yay! I'm gonna finish. Her. Have, Have a, a creepy, creepy ass, ass Halloween. Halloween! See you next Tuesday. <gasps> I can't believe I said she it right. Say it with me. <laughs> Say see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Thank you. Unless you're Molly snoring. God, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.
Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. So for all of you that are listening, if you have any true crime or paranormal stories that you want us to share, maybe with the whole Pacific Northwest. Yes, we would love <laughs> to read them on the pod. Yes, we will read them out loud. <laughs> Not just in our heads. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to be from the Pacific Northwest. If you would like to share, email us at PNW Hunts and Homicides at gmail.com. It's all spelled out, no special characters, super duper easy peasy. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Same thing as the email at PNW Hunts and Homicides, all spelled out, no special characters. Please also rate and review us on whatever platform you're listening to and check out our stories on social media because our meme game is hot. (laughs) Agreed. And if you agree, like Caitlin, you can also find us on Patreon and support the show. (laughs) Bitchin. Alrighty, so all right. <laughs> Did you hear that when I said it? What? Like my voice got all creak, like crackly. Yeah. Like alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> I just cleared my throat. Cassie is possessed <clears throat> as shoot. I can't say alrighty. Maybe I should just say something else. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking alright. I'm <laughs> okay.